All right, guys. Now I want to show you some combinations that work and some combinations that don't work when using a breadboard. Now, again, I said that these holes are in sets of five. So anything you connect into this hole is going to be connected in any of these holes. And that's because of strips of copper underneath that connect each of these holes. Now, anything you connect into this hole is not going to be connected underneath it because that's just not how your breadboard works. So, for example, say you connect a wire into here, top hole. Now, anything to the left and right of it, let's see, F, G, H, I, J, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, yep. Um, anything that's going to be connected into here, see, those wires would be connected right there. But let's say you connected a wire down there. That wire would not be connected. Only wires to the left and right of it within that little five set is going to be connected. And what this means is even though it might be in the same row, if it's over here in this set, that wire would still not be connected. And again, when you connect a wire, any wire that's in the same five set is going to be connected. Anything down from it, even if it's directly down like this, or across these small gaps right there anything like that it's not going to be connected so that's your intro to breadboarding uh, make sure to check out my next tutorial and I'll see you guys next time